would like to assure the Antolini crime family that this footage will in no way be used in the final edit of our program. Another predator-prey drama comes to its conclusion. That horse lake plays host to the city's working poor, who come despite its frequent water quality alerts.
wouldn't know him from Adam. If he'd kill another fisherman, that's between them and him, yeah? Hobos, good workers. Unlike my so-called son, Kyle. That's why I pay him to stay on the lookout for that shark. The battle is over, but the war goes on.
Barracuda frequents the waters around Trash Island, where they enjoy a steady diet of hypodermic needles and use pregnancy tests. The solitary hunter stumbles upon another source of nourishment. Clovis responds with swift retributive action. She gotta be somewhere out here. It's another unsuccessful shark hunt for the people of Port Clovis. <laughs> On the, line. the spring of 73 was a magical time in Port Clovis when local favorite Trash Talk placed 20th in the Derby and the city placed first in the country for petty theft. The scourge of the swampland, Bayou Willie. It's in front of us!
Despite Port Clovis's best efforts, the aquatic beast refuses to be tamed. The shark hunting sector has experienced significant growth, leaving a lot of local openings for amusement ride operators. This local seldom miss an opportunity to indulge in mindless, gratuitous slaughter. The bartender life in Bobby Bojan. The latest cycle of attacks will certainly be among the most infamous chapters in the long troubled history of human shark relations. shark attacks came after experimentation with animal sacrifices to appease the shark god, Dakiwata.
shark must so often meet. The Savage Shrimper, Pookie Paul. The situation has escalated, and the price on the shark's head has risen. Forgotten all about its rogue shark for now. Here in the grotto that the shark can discover the absolute serenity deep within her soul.
appreciate the grant from Sunshine Solutions that made this show possible. We'd also like to remind viewers that mass cloning and gene editing for today's military is safer than ever. The Needle Tooth Nightmare, the Barracuda. recognize it as the title of a classic rock radio staple, did you know that it's also a fish? Well, it's true. Sharks are frequent culprits in boat attacks. Even for sharks, it's important to create personal time for sober self-reflection.
traveling around, we are constantly reminded of how man's intrusion has disrupted the fragile equilibrium of the marine world. Back on board the Cajun Queen. That's Kyle, my son. He's just here for the summer. Studies marine biology. <laughs> Look at that. I got one hand can still tie a hook. You got two can barely tie his shoes. <laughs> Must get that from his mama. Yeah. He used to help my daddy around. Spent a lot of time together. But we wasn't close. He was a shark on her. That's all he was. If anybody were gonna catch the mega, it'd be him. <laughs> Thought it was a government experiment, got himself loose. Boy, he wanted that shark. Wanted it bad. Found it once. Didn't catch it, no. What... what happened to your father? Huh? What happened? Look, uh... I ain't got time to answer questions all day. Got work to do. Just like Kyle LeBlanc, our young bull is the inheritor of a long family tradition, struggling to find her place in the world. Golden Shores was built as vacation residences for wealthy out-of-towners, with spectacular ocean views, private beach access, and a gate to keep out the locals.
what that is. Maybe a rainbow trout? Protein caches like this one are a convenient and tasty way for sharks to increase their protein intake. In the kill or be killed world of the sea, performance enhancing mutagens provide benefits that could mean the difference between life and death. Once more, the shark turns back to this place of centered calm.
Upon using this medication, if you experience priapism, do not attempt to improvise your own surgical shot. for just 3% of hunter deaths. Drugs, alcohol, and poor firearm handling account for the rest. The shark will now be divvied up, with parts of her body sold as conversation piece curios. Golden Shore's development was originally met with local protest, but those objections were easily circumvented with campaign donations to Planning Commission Director Steve Traeger.